Thank you for coming to Productive Corporation's 2-Minute Tech. Today we're going to take a look at the Network Security Control Center for the Sophos XG Firewall. You are looking at the new firmware interface for the Sophos Next Generation Firewall. It is referred to as the SFOS firmware and is different from the UTM firmware. This opening screen reveals the Network Security Control Center dashboard. The intent here is to convey real-time status on the many areas in which it has visibility. Let's break it down and get a sense of its richness and reporting and presenting real-time status of our network. These six icons here provide navigation to the extensive menuing system found within the firewall. This firewall is fully configurable using these six icon menus. So let's look at our panel, six panel layout here. There are six panels here, as you can see, and we're going to go through each of them and discuss what they bring to the table. Additionally, we have our contact sensitive help, and we also have a menu uh, with menu items that are associated with the permissions of the logged in user. Let's start out with the system panel and uh, get some insight as to what we're looking at here. So the system panel uh, provides status for uh, these performance indicators as well as these hardware resources. The performance indicators are displayed using a red, yellow, green real-time status, whereas the uh, hardware resources uh, are, are measured by percentage of consumption. If I click on one of these hardware resources, I can get my a graph, a full view graph, and I, can all, I also have access to a historical perspective uh, showing anything from live up to one year of data point retention. And this is for the hardware resources, so there are four graphs here. These are the other two here. Additionally, on this screen, we'll go into see uh, menus for system tools and network utilities. That can be found in our menuing. However, they're listed here for uh, fast access for any diagnostic or troubleshooting uh, purposes from this screen. Let's go on to our traffic insight panel here. So the traffic insight panel displays a graph of the crude statistics which is related to the network traffic processed over those last 24 hours. Additionally, we have what we call what Sophos refers to as the uh, top five category lists, loud app categories, network attacks, allowed web categories and blocked app categories. All this information is uh, further detailed in our, um, in our reporting menus and our logs. The um, user and device insights panel here displays real-time conditions of the advanced capabilities and features of this next generation firewall and the SFOS firmware. Let's start out here at the top we have what we call the heartbeat. So the heartbeat is also referred to as a synchronized heartbeat in the marketing literature. It's an indicator that reports on the number of endpoints residing on our network that have a Sophos Cloud agent installed. Hence the requirement is a Sophos Cloud endpoint agent be installed on those endpoints to use this feature. As you can see, it does use red, yellow, green indicators to convey real-time status to us. Uh, we'll review those real quickly. Green, of course, is healthy. And as you can see here, I'm healthy right now, and these are the indicators. Uh, yellow would alert us that there was some sort of questionable activity or rogue application, such as a POA found on one or more of those endpoints, and I can get further information by coming to my Sophos Cloud console, logging in, and then looking at the offending stations. If this were red, it would indicate that the one or more endpoints have been compromised. The uh, <clears throat> nice thing about this feature is if it does turn red, then traffic from those endpoints will be blocked at the firewall. So if they have been compromised, any of that CNC traffic will be blocked at the firewall, preventing a further spread and further outbreak or, or participation in a uh, botnet um, network. Um, their traffic will be blocked until the remediation efforts are completed and the heartbeat is restored back to a healthy condition. Let's talk about our next advanced feature called Advanced Threat Protection 
or ATP. So ATP indicates advanced threats that have been detected on the network, such as botnet or CNC activity that has been blocked. When the indicator is red, selecting the icon will reveal the host name and IP address of the source threat. The next feature down here is called user threat quotient. It is an indication of high risk user activity. Now the UTQ, UTQ is an activity aggregation for the last seven days. This activity con is constituted by risky web surfing behavior or the use of an infected host deemed as part of a botnet. Um, visiting non-business related websites could be viewed as risky web surfing behavior by today's standards. Now, if the UTQ status were red, clicking on the icon would reveal the reports. The UTQ reports for the last seven days, where now I have a lot more detailed information as to what caused it to go red. And now I can take further remediation action. The uh, icons here are representing the uh, additional features of, this would be the red appliance, the remote ethernet device appliance. And these two numbers here would show us the number of tunnels established versus the number configured. So if I had any that were down, I'd know it. Same thing, my Sophos wireless access points. If this, these two numbers show me the uh, what's configured and then what's pending. And then also I'm looking at remote users and live users. These are typically VPN um, <clears throat> users or their authenticated users on the firewall. So my next section is going to be the policy section. Active policies. This indicates how many policies of each type are being used to process traffic through the firewall. As you can see, I've got 15 total policies. 14 of them are network, one a user. The network policies are protocol-based policies. The user does, uh, uh, does allow me to police a user or a group of users. And then down below here, this, this graph here, this graph here is going to display the volume of data processed by each policy type over the last 24 hours. The policy type is color-coded to match that of the policy. So blue, these are all network policies. This traffic is processed uh, by the network policies. Um, <clears throat> the, next, um, the next area down here is going to be the... Um, policy status summaries of all policies. You get a quick quick fix on uh, how many policies are being used or that have been disabled or changed or new in the last 24 hours. Our next panel are the reports panel. There are some, these are some of the many useful reports available for quick viewing in PDF format. These reports are generated by web and network protection modules of the firewall. Now there is also a re an extensive reporting menu within here and you can see here the types of reports that are available. If I was to highlight one of them, I can get more information about what that report will reveal. There's also Log Viewer available here, which is going to show me the system logs, as well as many other protection module logs in the firewall. Now, for those of you who are interested in consolidated reporting, compliance management, or even long-term retention of reporting needs, Sophos does have a product called the iView. You can get more information by contacting your sales rep. Messages panel. The messages panel here is going to show me some system notices generated by Sophos uh, in a red, yellow, or green real-time status. So it needs to say red is an alert message, which I do have one here from Sophos. Uh, yellow would be a warning message, and blue would indicate that there's a firmware download uh, notification. So that covers the network security control panel found in the SFOS firmware of the Sophos next generation firewall. Thank you for coming to Productive Corporation's Two Minute Tech. If you need additional product information, configuration, or implementation services, please contact us at help at productivecorp.com 800 726 4099. We are here to help.